Hey, what is up guys? A brand new video and we just got some information uh, just late last night about what's going on going into future patches in Battlefield 2042. There's been a few gripes in the community. A lot of people are unhappy with the game's current state, but they have released some information of what they're looking at going into that day 10 patch, which I'm sure we're all looking forward to. So without further ado, let's get right into that action let's get into what they've been talking about and let's find out what the hell is going on here so let's start with the soldier revives this is what they've been talking about so let's quote this we're confident that we've identified the cause of the issue that was preventing you from always getting off a revive particularly when a player is in close proximity to nearby geometry a fix for this is on the way so they haven't actually fixed this yet but it looks like they are confident for the day 10 patch they're going to get this implemented obviously it's super frustrating when your teammate goes down especially when you're playing in a squad of four people you're all on comms your boy is crying for a revive next to you and you've got to you run over there and all of a sudden you can't revive him you gotta say go next bro unlucky take the l that's really frustrating but it's good that they're looking into this i'm hoping this is going to be fixed soon because it's super frustrating and we just need it sorted. Um, they say also separately, we're closing in on a possible server side fix for players who are in rare circumstances, which really isn't that rare by the way, find themselves in an unable to respond state. If the server side fix doesn't stick, we already have a further solution lined up for our upcoming update. So it's gonna be fixed in day 10 no matter what hopefully they can just push something out earlier which doesn't require like the full update um that they have to you know send to microsoft and everybody so that'd be really nice if we can get that update before then because when you spawn in and you have the crouch bug uh you you basically have to redeploy and if you do not redeploy and you die to an enemy player you'll be stuck on zero with a countdown and you have to leave the match you will not be able to respawn in that game super frustrating bug but they're on top of it let's hope this comes in soon because the players that don't play often they don't know about this bug too much they are very confused people that play a lot know they've got to uh, just redeploy uh so this would be really nice to get this fixed so we don't have any random players looking like an opponent but it's actually our teammate which is stupid by the way but looks like it's a fix, so let's just roll on from that. Okay, so the UAV1 interaction, they removed this for a while whilst they could see what the best way was to deal with it. Um, I didn't really play too much of Portal when this was a thing, when this was a problem. I think it was in Bad Company 2 it's happening with. I think I might even died to it a few times and I was a bit confused to what was happening. But apparently that is now complete um, and we'll be looking to re-enable this alongside the next update. So UAV1 uh, is coming back into Portal uh, very, very soon, probably in that day 10 patch. So not much to talk about here, just thought I'd let you guys know. I'm just trying to give you all the information that Battlefield are giving it us. Obviously, you can still get this information from the Battlefield.com Twitter page. This is where they're just giving you all that information. So if you do want to be on the pools, on the beat, uh, make sure to follow that uh, Twitter page. It is very helpful. If not, I'm going to be running it down and bring it for you right here. All right, let's get into some more juicy ones then. The UAV is not too important. Missing loadouts. This is a really annoying issue where it causes all of your loadouts to reset. So they say a rare issue that could sometimes cause a data call to fail on our end now has a fix developed and is presently in testing. This is not a rare issue. This, I, I mean, I play quite a lot, but this happens daily. So rare issue, I guess they're trying to be nice to themselves. We're keen to roll this one out to you all and make sure that you don't have that frustration of needing to reconnect to a server. I, you know, you didn't, it is annoying because you go into a game and all your vehicles are reset, your guns are reset, your attachments are reset, your classes are all gone. It is very frustrating, but looks like, you know, they've got something fixed. It's in testing. Hopefully it is a solid fix and we can move on from this because it's very annoying trying to get your class sorted before the deploy because the deploy keeps taking you out of your loadout screen. So let's hope that's all fixed and we can we can get cracking along with that. These are small things, but that are actually huge things. I feel like if you play for more than a few hours a day, this is something that you will see and it will annoy you. 
All right, the moment you've all been waiting for then, vehicle balancing, I saved the real juicy state till last. The hovercraft will be re-equipped with lighter armor, therefore lowering its health, and they're tuning down some of its weaponry, thank the Lord, because I have never seen a war film where instead of they bring out, you know, the big tanks, the big weaponry, no, they bring a hovercraft of doom, apparently, and this thing melt you it's near enough silent when it just rolls up on your whole team uh behind you and just runs you over no respawns by the way and it's so toxic it's really frustrating so i'm happy to see this it needs to be more vulnerable so the hovercraft is more of a transport vehicle but it can do some nasty flanks it should be able to do damage but this thing is just straight up bruisering the lobby right now it's really frustrating uh so glad to see that they're seeing that and they're gonna adjust to it same with the Nightbird, I'm happy that the weaponry has been turned down too. This is supposed to be sort of a scouting chopper and a bit of an annoyance. Right now, it's dealing. If, if there is a good Nightbird chopper, this thing is dealing uh, so much like an Apache right now. And it's very frustrating to play against when all those missiles hit you. Uh, so they're keeping a close eye on early balance for future changes. Uh, there's another vehicle that I'm not going to mention in this video. It's coming very soon. I'm going to make another video about it entirely because you guys need to see it. There is more balance changes on the way. Trust me. You're going to start to see this vehicle in your games very soon. Um, so expect that to get nerfed too. All right. So that's all we've got from uh, DICE themselves. They've given this information. I'm really happy that they're communicating with us because this launch has not been great. And I'm being very kind with those words. I still enjoy the game. But let's be honest. This is a very raw product. But I'm glad they're communicating. I'm glad they're trying to address some of these issues. We just need to keep persisting with them. Unfortunately. I really have high promise for this game. I think it can be great. But they have to get these issues ironed out. And they have to start really. You know. Banging them out early. Which they are doing. But uh, there's still definitely a long way to go. Let me know in the comments below what you're having the biggest gripe with in battlefield right now what is the biggest issues you'd like to see fixed and um yo i'll see you guys in the next one thanks you so much for watching and uh you know keep an eye out for that next video uh yeah big vehicle nerfs needed for this one all right see you in the next one bye bye